All right, so today we have a lot of amazing crypto news that I want to cover in one full video and also want to show you one platform that absolutely crushes it in this market right now. If you're a daily trader or if you're a swing trader, if you just want to make some money out of trading or learn the technique of trading, this platform is definitely for you. But before we get into that, let's talk about today's news in crypto. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to post more news about crypto because you want to know what's the current situation, whether it's bullish or bearish. With all of those crazy noises here and there, Andre Jake saying the end of US dollar is now. What do we believe? Who do we believe? And what should we do next? That is what we're going to cover in today's video. So hit me a thumbs up and let's get to it. So let's take a look at the current health of the market right now. Bitcoin is sitting at $30,000, actually not doing too bad. Ethereum at $1,900, BNB at $320. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why are we using this platform when there's a much better platform that we can be viewing this from? Coin market cap is outdated, guys. Let's take a look at Bing X. So this is the top current coins. You can see there's obviously a bit of arbitrage, but in the whole, it's much easier to view the coins like this. And one thing I like about this platform much more is not only you can see coins here, but you can also take a look at stocks, forex, indices, commodities, Shanghai upgrades, makes it easier for you if you are a wide range trader. What I mean by wide range trader is that if you trade everything besides just cryptocurrencies. But if you are looking at crypto, let's take a look at the viewpoint right here. Doge, yeah, Doge baby, sitting at 8 cents after the massive pump by Elon Musk. And if this is not enough, take a look at what this can do. If you click into BTC to USD right here, you'll see the viewpoint as a technical graph. This is absolutely amazing guys because I'm looking at this right here but from my iPad, I'm looking at the app as well. And what I love about it the most is when you pick the country you're from, they'll show the exact currency right below it right here. As you can see, I'm in Malaysia so it's RM. Ringgit Malaysia. They convert it for you so you don't have to worry about the conversion. You don't have to go to your Google, type in from USD to Ringgit or from USD to whatever currencies you're in. All this is set up right here just for you, the convenience of the customer. If you take a look right here, exactly the same features. You can see the buys and sells. You can do technical graphs. You can draw lines. You can put your buy here. Market limit trigger whatsoever. You can even go to buy crypto. You can even go to sell crypto. Red, okay buy or sell you can put it right here even to your own currency as well take a look at this is myr which is my own currency you got australian dollars you got anything you want honestly even check Czech Republic dollars as well. And then you have P2P as well, which you can convert it to your own currency via P2P, peer-to-peer. -peer. And last but not least, you got bank deposits, where you have to verify your own identity, but you have to purchase the cryptocurrency with fiat currencies. And what I'm most fascinated by is the copy trading site. So if you take a look right here, you can see all of the traders that's on here. They have unique names for it. So one of them is Nasdaq ER. The other one is at ease. You can even see the ROI. So this is a 30-day ROI, obviously more high risk. High risk means higher return, means faster return. ROI means return on investment. So this one's a 30-day ROI, the 76%. And there's 22,000 people copying this trading method. The risk is at five, so obviously very risky. And this one's risk is at two, but the ROI is 180 days. You got 207% gain, but you got 163,000 account assets. That is insane. So I would like to copy this guy, but then again, I'm more of a gambler myself. So I would go for the one with the 30-day ROI but not with the highest risk, of course. I'll probably go for this, copy now. All right, let's see the details of it. So if the trader does not currently have a position for you, you have to wait for the trader to open a position. Take a look at my assets. Right now, I still have 300 USDT inside my account because they haven't approved it yet. So once it's approved, they will minus it off from my wallet. And then I will officially be an official copy trader of this guy at ease. So I can be at ease. Anyway, back to the news today. Aside from all of the bullish news, there's still some bearish going on. Like I said, there's different sounds from here and there. Depends on the risk tolerance and the person that's behind it. Obviously, Elon Musk would say cryptocurrency is the next gen. On the other hand, there's all money people like Warren Buffett, which says that Bitcoin is a gambling token. He said that since day one. And I don't blame him for that because he has obviously made a killing out of the current stock market, which if you've made a killing of that, you will say everything else is BS. If it were me, I would say that everything else is 
with BS as well. I wouldn't even need to make any risky plays because I have so much liquidity on hand that I can just invest into a blue chip stock and get it to pump and then everyone else will come in and I will make tons of money. But then again, it's very interesting to look at this news of how he's dissing it and how people are reacting towards it. Not many young generation will react very well to it because most people are actually dumping the money into crypto and believing that it's the future way to produce more money. Especially for people who do not have that much cash flow or liquidity, they would want to take a bit of a gamble. So yes, Warren Buffett might say that cryptocurrency is a gambling coin, but in today's generation, more people are willing to gamble. And back in the day, were stocks known as a gamble as well? I guess pretty much so. So what Warren Buffett did when he went against other people's sayings and getting into the stock market, making a killing out of it, is exactly the same as what we're doing right now. Obviously, besides that companies have intrinsic value and you can obviously read the annual report, cryptocurrencies has another way of looking at this intrinsic value, not so much similar as to how people fundamentally analyze stocks. And on the more bearish side as well, the SEC is ramping up the crypto crackdowns with additional prosecutors. This is completely normal, guys. The whole market is crumbling. Countries are changing their reserve currencies into yuan rather than USD. So obviously people are panicking, US is panicking, banks are panicking, and the only way that they can salvage it right now is by cracking down on cryptocurrencies. Because the cryptocurrency is the main reason why people are dumping all their money into it. No one expected that, not even the Federal Reserve. So as they were printing money, they didn't see this tiny little loophole here. And now it's already too late. But when there's someone pondering over some losses, there's obviously other people striving. And that is mostly the Asian side. Not to be racist, this is nothing to do with race. But on the Asian side, people are taking advantage of this whole crypto boom. One of Hong Kong's bank called ZA Bank wants to be the go-to bank for crypto startups. As you can take a look at the news right here, as the collapse of Signature Bank and Silvergate sent crypto companies scrambling, a virtual bank from Hong Kong is extending a warm welcome to Web3 startups. And they even mentioning right here, the move is happening at the time when Hong Kong is trying to position itself as a crypto-friendly alternative to other hubs like the US and Singapore and an act of a sandbox for Web3 businesses that originate from China where crypto trading is illegal. The city has been revamping its digital assets regulatory framework, which tentatively plans to legalize retail trading for major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether. So this is definitely bullish news because we can see people actually are reacting positively to it. But then obviously it's a zero sum game. There's another side which is reacting negatively. This is completely normal. Argentina as well is approving its first regulated Bitcoin futures index. So it's not only Asian countries, there's also other countries that are more pro crypto. The CNV, which is the National Commission of Value, the securities regulator of Argentina has approved the country's first regulated Bitcoin futures index to debut on the Metbar Relfax exchange. So in conclusion, the approval of Bitcoin futures index in Argentina provides a safe and regulated way for qualified investors to gain Bitcoin exposure in a transparent environment. So they're smart, they're going on to the trend in a more regulated way. And this is to counter their massive inflation. Like the video that I just watched by Andre Jake, the end of US dollar and what you must know. He said that every couple of decades, they're going to have a new king of currencies, the central power station, the one that has the currency that every other country uses as a backup, as a stable coin. And that obviously for the past few decades was the US, before that was sterling pounds and before that was the Swiss francs. And the next one, yeah, you probably guessed it, it might be China's currency. And if you thought that China was late into cryptocurrency, well, think again, because China was actually the main one that started this whole cryptocurrencies. But they were very low-key about it using WeChat, etc. However, they were the first ones and they were the pioneers of all this blockchain technology. So if you are new to cryptocurrencies, I suggest you go onto BingX right now, follow my link down below to start trading, get your free trading bonus from the time you sign up, and then go on to the copy trading site and look at the trending traders. You can then sit back, relax, and earn your passive income from other people trading for you. All you have to do is diversify your portfolio nicely, not diversify your cryptocurrency portfolio, but diversify your traders portfolio. You can go for some with level 1 risk, you can go for some with level 6 risk. Try to mix and match. What I like to do is I like to do 80% of a low risk and 20% of a high risk. So if my total asset amount is about $10,000, I'll probably put $2,000 into a really high risk one and $8,000 into low risk and stable ones. There's also spot grid trading which you can copy. You can take a look at the copiers right here, they have the numbers. And the investment amount and the APY. You can also split them up by the investment, by the copier, and by the ROI. So do sign up right now to win the mystery box. You can win up to $200 from it. And this is absolutely crazy because once you deposit, you may even receive up to 5,000 USDT. So don't miss out on this because this is practically free money. 
And if you're a trader yourself as well, you might as well trade here because you know you get the free bonus. And if you're a trader as well, you might as well trade here to get the free bonus. But like I said, this is not financial advice. This is purely for entertainment. Bing X, if you're a professional or if you're a new user, this is definitely the platform for you. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.